I remember back in the um, early 70s, 1973, there was a young man who caught an incredibly lucky break, and that was me. And I received a, an acceptance letter to the University of Notre Dame. And I remember um, I was surprised, and I think my father was as surprised. But it, it set me um, it, on a life that I could never have dreamed of, and I never would have had any of those chances if it wasn't for Father Hesburgh. Father Hesburgh always stood for doing what was right. And he was first and foremost a priest. And he would minister to all of our students. One after another would come up with problems, um, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend problems. How am I ever going to, to make the cut academically? How am I ever going to pay my tuition? And Father Ted would sit and work through these issues with all of us, two in the morning, three in the morning. He was so dedicated and he cared so much. And I think of Sacred Heart Church and uh, our motto, Notre Dame's motto on the side, God, country, Notre Dame. And Father Ted lived that every single day. And I was reading where, when he was, he was uh, ordained as a priest in 1943, he said he wanted to become a chaplain on a naval aircraft carrier. Um, and the powers that be at Notre Dame said, that's great, but you're staying right here. Um, Father Ted always had a great love for the Navy as well. Um, we've always had at Notre Dame such a special relationship with the United States Navy. And most all of that um, started and was, was nurtured by Father Ted. But he ministered to the whole country and to the whole world. Um, medals of Freedom, Congressional Gold Medals, 150 honorary degrees. But the title he was most proud of and he cared the most about was priest. And whether you were a groundskeeper at the university or you helped cook dinner or lunch in the dining room, you were just as important to Father Ted as the uh, fanciest uh, person who stopped in for the day, as the President of the United States, as the Pope. Father Ted cared about everyone equally and told everyone, you are equally important in the eyes of God. So we were very, very lucky. We were very lucky when he decided to uh, admit women into the University of Notre Dame. As he often said, he said it was the best decision he ever made. Um, and I think everybody agrees with him. A school named after Our Lady always and should have had a place for women. And that's what's so wonderful about what Father Ted did. Um, it, is, it is the sons and daughters of Notre Dame. My wife went to Notre Dame. My daughter went to Notre Dame. And our family is incredibly lucky to have had those chances. So Father Ted, um, we will always remember you. We will remember you with fondness. This is a day of celebration as well for a life that was so extraordinarily well lived, um, for persons so well loved in our Michiana community um, in northern Indiana, where um, we all loved you as a neighbor and loved you as a priest. And for the whole world, we all loved you for your leadership and for everything you've done. So uh, I stand as a, loyal, uh, as a loyal alum of Notre Dame, as a loyal son of Notre Dame, with all the sons and daughters of Notre Dame and the people of the world, saying thanks to Father Ted for a life that was extraordinary, and thanks to Father Ted for doing everything he's done for all of us. God bless you. Rest in peace.